Mic check one two one two. Mic check one two one two. Just want to make sure we're sounding well in the building. Want to welcome everybody back to another Points Blank Travel live stream. Make sure as you come into the house, you ring the doorbell, and the doorbell is that thumbs up button down below. And without any further ado, let's go ahead and get ready to get down to business. Also, keep in mind, I am bringing knowledge to the table. The question is, are you going to grab a plane and eat? Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another PBT live stream. I'm glad to be back in the house, man. It uh, it seemed like I just left. I did a live stream last night. And today, we are going to be talking about signs that you can see clearly without a shadow of a doubt that could be letting you know that you may have too many credit cards. You got to... Give me a second here. I am going to be looking at my notes here on my iPad. Not my notes, just the outline of what I'm going to be talking about. Um, and there's really, I, I came across an article, and there's more like five different things that could determine whether you have too many credit cards. It could be signs that you have too many credit cards. And I kind of wanted to go over some of them because I started thinking myself, you know, I have a credit card arsenal of 27 credit cards, and I even am thinking about another one, and I'm doing more thinking than I am acting. Um, but, I mean, I don't know, it's two cards, it's five cards, it's 12 cards, it's, it's 20 cards, what's too many? And I did a video not too long ago, actually I think I did a live stream not long ago, and I answered that question, how many credit cards you ha should you have? And that answer is, however, many you're comfortable with. Hey, welcome to Points Blank Travel, everyone. My name is Rod, and on this channel, we talk about credit. We talk about credit cards. We talk about personal finance, points, miles, cash back, how to travel around the world or around the country for little or no money out of your pocket. If that's something you're interested in you haven't already done so, do me a favor, subscribe to the channel. Get a video a thumbs up. As I said, my live streams, make sure you ring the doorbell as you come in, and the doorbell is that like button. Share, excuse me, the channel with your family and friends. Share it on your social media platforms. And with all that being said, let's roll, baby. Hey, I see we got four people in the crib, three people ringing the doorbell. As you come into the house, make sure you come in. Make sure you ring the doorbell, and the doorbell is that like button. One of the things I didn't mention, and I'll probably mention a little later in the live stream, as I see some of the members of the Points Blank Travel channel. If you're looking at another way to support the channel, make sure you check out the channel memberships. There's a silver level, a gold level, and a platinum level. The silver level is really just showing support to the channel. The gold and platinum level is actually where you'll get uh, more perks. You'll get uh, members-only live streams, member-only videos. And with the platinum level, you also have uh, social media access to myself where we may do a video chat if you have questions about credit or credit cards. Or if you just want to chop it up, you know. I see we got six people in the crib, five people ring the doorbell. And I'm going to, without any further ado, let me move some stuff around. I woke up not long ago, man, and I had a little, the sniffles, man. I had my, I didn't have my heat on now. Then I turned it on now. I'm in here burning up with this hoodie on. I'm going to go over about four or five items that could be signs that you may have, or even me, may have too many credit cards. And the first one on the list, if you're having trouble paying your annual fees. And my, I, I have so many annual fees, I'll be honest with y'all, I'm scared to even calculate them. I, I'll be honest with you, I have a, a platinum card at 550, I have American Express Business Gold at 295, I have American Express Gold card at 250, I have the uh, uh, the black card, not, not the American Express black card, let's not get it twisted, I have the luxury card, the black card, that's 495. So if you find yourself having problems paying the annual fees, and annual fees tend to range from uh, I think the lowest one I have is Capital One at $39. You'll have a few cars at $49, some cars at $75. But the most common annual fee until you get into the premium cards is $95. Now, if you have five cars, let's just make this simple math. If you five, have five cars and you're paying a $95 annual fee on each of those cars, and annually you're paying 500 bucks basically. If you're having trouble paying that, then you may have too many cards. But what I want to do is I want to give everyone a tip. Don't get frantic. Don't get afraid and go and cancel one of the cards or two of the cards. Look for a downgrade path. And what I mean by a downgrade path, the card you have, let's say the first one that comes to mind for me is the, is the uh, American Express Everyday Preferred card or the Hilton Surpass card. But we're going to just stick with the Everyday Preferred card with American Express. 
I have that card. I have the American Express everyday card. I'm using this as an example because this is something that I'm thinking about. I'm not having a problem paying the annual fee. I'm just having a hard time justifying the annual fee with my current setup. So if you have the everyday preferred card and you're paying $95, then instead of me running out and canceling the card, what I'm looking at doing is downgrading to the everyday card. Everyday, the American Express everyday card has a zero annual fee. And I'm also not going to hurt my average age of accounts because instead of canceling that card and closing an account that I've had two and a half years, I'm going to downgrade it to another American Express card and it'll appear American Express will keep it as an active card and I'll keep that two and a half years of credit that I've built up. So number one, the number one reason that you may, that may be a sign that you have too many credit cards is you can't handle all the annual fees. The next one, and I do want to kind of speed this up. I said last night in the live show, I want to get down into the comments. I don't want to, I don't want to rush to the comments and just have this as a comment show because I do want this to be educational and informative, but I don't want to spend a lot of time ad living on something that I could just easily get right through. I see we got 10 people in the crib, six people ringing the doorbell. As you come into the house, make sure you hit that uh, thumbs up button. That is ringing the doorbell, baby. The next one, and this is probably more important, and, and I'm reading them in the order, order that I saw them on the article. Forgetting to pay your credit cards on time. If you're forgetting to pay certain credit cards because you have so many different cards, that could be a sign that you have too many cards. You know, I, I'm, and I have, I had it, I, I thought I had it. Uh, yeah, I do have it. I'm looking at it right now. Uh, and let me get here. I want to share my screen with everybody. I want to show everybody how I keep up with it. Uh, Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Let me get over here to share my screen. And I want to show y'all something. If, and I'll show you once I go through this, but if you're forgetting to pay certain cards, you know, you, you find, you, you say, oh man, it's three days after this certain card was due. I'm going to tell you a couple ways to get around it. But your card is due on the, on the 12th. And here it is, the 15th, and you're like, oh my God, I forgot to pay that card, man. You know, it could be a sign if you got seven, eight cards and you're forgetting to pay one or two of them, that could be a sign that you have too many. And with 27, I'm going to tell you all right now, it is a beast keeping up. But what I train myself to do instead of worrying about the due date, and I did this in another video on how to increase your credit score. Instead of me worrying about the due date, I have a in my iPhone, I have notes of my statement closing date. I want to pay it before that statement closing date. But if I pay it on a statement closing date, or a couple days after, I'm nowhere near the due date because due dates is typically 21 days after your statement closing date. And I want to go ahead and uh, share my screen here. And I want to make sure y'all can see this. Let me see. Okay. All right. If you see here, this is, let me close this out. This is actually in my notes on my iPhone. And it's showing all, not all, because I can only put so many on the screen, but all of the credit cards that I have and it's showing this little date you see here is the 28th. That's the statement closing date. That's not the due date. That's the statement closing date. The 24th, the 3rd. Notice if you see a D, I don't know why I didn't put a P for paid. I just put a D for done. Uh, and if you notice, everything except I need to go in here and pay this one. But the, the American Express Everyday Preferred Card was doing the, uh, the statement closing date, the 3rd. It's done. Merit Business Gold, the 15th. The Platinum, the 17th. And, and cards that today is the 20th. So, and I was off today and I was kind of resting. So I'll go in here tonight and I'll pay these. Now, if you don't see a D like the Capital One Quicksilver and it's nothing beside it, it's because I didn't have anything to worry about paying. I didn't have any, any charges on there. So that's how I do it. Um, this is how I keep up with all 27 of my credit cards. And let me get back to me. Let me get over here, get rid of this. Kill that minimize this and that's how i do it man it's that it's that simple for me but I, i'll say it's that simple but it's really not that simple it's a pain in the butt trying to keep up with uh with 27 different credit cards <coughs> excuse me so so far we've covered if you have a problem paying your annual fees or you're forgetting to pay your credit cards this could be a sign that you have too many and too many credit cards could be four credit cards it could be five credit cards one of my biggest regrets, um, and, and I'm like, I don't like to cancel them because I don't want to affect my credit score, but one of my 
regrets it, and I, I haven't really publicly admitted this, is I hate that I have 27 cards. Yet, I'm thinking about getting a 28th card. But it, it's just, to me, I think I kind of went overboard. Now, the next one is extremely important. If you're not getting approvals for credit card applications, this could be a sign that you have too many cards. And what they mean by too many cards, if you're getting denied for new, uh, new cards, because banks could say, hold up. I can see on Rod's credit report, he already have 20 some cards. He may not need any more credit. He may have enough credit extended to him already. And before you know it, they'll start denying me. And, and especially if I go to the same, and I wouldn't be that crazy, but if I went to the same, let's say I went to a, excuse me, city. I went to city and I, I applied for the double cash card. They declined me. Then I said, okay, well, let me try the premier card. They declined me. It may be better if I go to a different, a different, uh, uh, bank, but if you keep getting declined and you already have five, especially if you did it in a short period of time, if you apply for five cards in six months and you got approved for all of them, and then the eighth month you decide to apply for two more and you get declined for both, that could be a sign that you have too many cards, at least for the time being, and you need to wait and chill a little while and then worry about getting more cards. Next on the list, uh, Actually, I don't like the next one. They say you carry a balance on some cards, and you uh, the balances, the cards that you have no balances, you're tempted to use those cards. I, I don't know if I agree with that one, so I'm not going to really get into that one. And then the last one is banks are closing your cards due to inactivity. So why would you have inactivity on cards? You're going to have inactivity because you got so many of them, you, you can't get around to all of them. I, I run into this. I don't use... It may be a month or two where I don't use, say, my Capital One Platinum card but, or, or my Black card, but out of all other 25 cards in the arsenal, and maybe my Quicksilver One card, but out of the 24 other cards, they get used at least once per month, every month. O only if I use it once. I don't even care if it's a good earning va a value or what. I just I, I like to do that. I like to keep in habit. But if you have a card that you just can't seem to get around to because you have so many cards, and then before you know it, you get a letter in the mail. This actually happened to me with my Walmart card. I don't really go to Walmart, so I wasn't using my Walmart card. And Synchrony Bank, who had was in, uh, over Walmart at the time, now it's Capital One. Capital One is in charge of the Walmart cards or, or manage the Walmart cards, whatever you want to say. They closed my account. So if you're getting your cards, and it, what could really kill you, let's say you have this credit card with a, uh, a $5,000 limit. And you don't use it and you just keeping it you don't use it and you have so many cards yet you have the cards with a thousand dollar limit two thousand dollar limit fifteen hundred dollar limit and you're using them like crazy i'm not saying go use the card with the highest limit this is not what i'm saying make sure y'all pay attention but you just can't get to this card with the five thousand dollar limit because you have so many other cards you're trying to rotate to through or you don't want to use a card with the five thousand dollar limit because it has the, the largest credit limit and before you know it ABC Bank closes your card. They close it. They, you're not using it. It's inactivity. I, I try to say every three to six months I would use my card. I don't care if I'm buying a bag of Doritos. I'm going to use that card just to show some type of activity. Well, that could actually kill your credit score because they've taken your biggest credit limit your $5,000 credit limit, and they've decided to close it, now you just shrunk your overall credit limit by $5,000. Let's say your four cards had, between all four of them, you had 20% credit utilization, meaning the balances you owe divided by the total credit limit equal 20%. And that was including the $5,000 credit limit. Well, when they closed that $5,000 credit limit, your credit utilization of 20% just shot up way up, probably over 50% because they just closed and killed $5,000 of your credit, overall credit limit. So the biggest thing, 30% of your credit score is credit utilization. Credit utilization, I, I always like to define this because to me it should be the biggest. It's the amount of balances owed on your credit cards divided by your overall credit limit. So simple math, if I have a $300 credit limit, and I have a, I mean, $300 that I owe on all my credit cards, and all my credit cards, the balance is $1,000. I mean, the credit limit is $1,000. Man, I don't know. I don't know what I eat. But anyway, three, uh, 300 divided by 1,000 is 30%. 300 divided by 1,000 
So now my credit utilization is 30%. But let's say I have two cards. I'm, I'm just keeping this simple. I have two cards. They both have a $500 credit limit. But I really don't use one of the cards. I haven't used it for two years. I have a $300 balance, a $1,000 credit limit. Let's say one of those cards is $500, both are 500 a piece. They close one. Where's my calculator here? Now I have a $300 balance divided by $500 because they killed 500. My credit utilization is now 60%. I don't know why I couldn't do that in my head. I just went from 30% utilization to 60% because they killed $500 of my credit overall credit limit. So if you have cards and they're getting closed, my iPad keep timing out because I'm not using it. If you have credit cards because, and they keep getting closed because you're not using them, that could be a sign that you have too many. Now let's just say if you like, I used to be, I had two credit cards. I wouldn't use it either one of them. I didn't need to. I, uh, excuse me here. I can't sneeze because I feel like a bunch of people watch me, so I can't do it. But anyway, uh, let's say you have two cards and you don't use them. That, if you're not using them, and, and I know most people, I'd say a large number, probably 80%, 70% of the world only use credit cards for emergencies. I was one of those people. Then I would say at least every three to six months, use the car for something. Getting a tank of gas, uh, going out to eat, even if you're getting a, a sandwich from Subway or Jersey Mike's or something like that. Use your card, eight dollars sixty-one cents. Pay it all on the statement club before the statement closing date, and you've shown some type of activity. So there it is, man. Those are some of the reasons I'm going to run right through them real quick because I want to jump down in the comments. If you're having trouble paying your annual fees, that could be a sign that you have too many credit cards. If you're forgetting to pay your credit cards on time because you just have so many of them, you have twenty cards and you can't even use them all like me. And, and you, if you went crazy along your life because they were just approving, you just wanted to keep getting approved. That could be a sign you have too many credit cards. If you're not getting approved on new applications, you got four cards over here that you don't even like. You just got them because they were cool at the time. Now you got this card you really want, you really like, and you can't even get approved for it because you went and applied for all these umpteen cards over here for no reason. That could be a sign that you have too many credit cards. Uh, and banks are closing your cards due to inactivity. These are signs that you have too many credit cards. So again, man, you want to you want to have a, a balance. You want to have a a good balance. And again, I'm gonna per, I'm gonna publicly admit right now, 27 cards is ridiculous. It's way too many. Do I have a purpose for most of them? Yes. Do I have a purpose for all of them? No, I don't. Because I start overlapping. These cards are overlapping. I find out I got this card. It was cool at the time. Now this new card came out. It's better than the other card. So I get the new card, and now I got a card I kind of, like my everyday preferred card used to be my workhorse. If you watch a lot, a lot of my older videos, that card was, was, it was featured in every What's In My Wallet video that I do every month. And in order to take advantage of that card, I had to do a minimum of 30 transactions each month to get a 50% bonus. And I was doing 32 to 35 transactions. Last two months, I've used that card once because I've added the business goal. I've added the the gold card, and I've added the Freedom Flex, and now that Everyday Preferred card is not really getting a lot of action. But again, before you cancel a card, and that's an entirely different live stream. That's an entirely different video, but I'm gonna go ahead and put out the gem right now. I'm gonna put the nugget out there right now. Before you close a card, look for a downgrade path. If you're not sure how to figure this out, you can email me pointsblanktravel at gmail.com. Again, pointsblanktravel at gmail.com. I would be more than happy to let you know. I, most of the time, I'm going to know it right off the head, off, right off the top of my head. And if I don't, I'll research it. Just hey, Rod, I have this American Express uh, Hilton Surpass car, and I'm really not going to hotels right now. And I don't want to pay the ninety-five dollar annual fee. What can I do? You could easily downgrade to the Hilton card, American uh, uh, Express Hilton Honors card that has no annual fee. And all you have to do is just a matter of calling American Express, say, hey, I want to downgrade this card. They won't penalize you. It, it won't hurt your credit score. And, and here, you, instead of canceling the card and hurting your average age of accounts because you've had this Hilton card for five years, downgrade it to the no annual fee version, the Hilton card, and then your age of average accounts will keep calculating. So hopefully that helped everyone. Uh, I do want to jump down in here. I am getting a little warm. I think I'm going to, y'all give me a half a second. I'm going to come out this uh, this hoodie real quick.
your boy decided he wanted to uh, turn the heat on because I woke up. Oh, okay. My hair is all crazy. I didn't feel like doing it today. All right, there we go. Now, whew, yeah, a lot better, a lot better. Let me look in the camera and get the, okay, get the lighting back right. Oh, I'm kind of bummy today, man. I got a baseball cap. Y'all got to excuse me. Your boy just, after doing a video yesterday. Hey, a couple things I want to mm -hmm. talk about before I get down in the comments. Now, if you have questions, do me a favor. This is the time to ask. I receive a lot of comments during my uh, actual videos. This is, this is why we do these live streams. And I say we, different YouTubers, they do the live streams so you can ask questions and get answers right there on the spot. You don't have to wait a half a day or if I'm, if I'm lucky, I'll catch your comments in a, a half hour. It may take a day. It may even take up to two days before I see all the comments. Typically, it won't take that long. But that's why I do these live streams. Make sure you ask a question right now. I'll be more than happy to answer it. Uh, I do see we have 14 people in the crib, 10 people ring the doorbell. Again, if this is your first time in the PBT live stream, you've never been here before, let me know what area you represent. I am broadcasting from the Dallas-Fort Worth area, Arlington, Texas to be exact. Right on the border of Arlington and Mansfield, about 10, 15 minutes from uh, AT&T Stadium. So I am down here. It's been raining all day. Your boy just woke up at 6.30. Like, well, probably I got out of bed about 6.45. But I typically take a nap before Wednesday live streams because they tend to be a little more in-depth, a little longer. Um, but I did a live stream last night. Um, so it's kind of, it's weird. I didn't even shoot a video today. And that's all I was talking about in the live stream last night. I'm going to shoot two videos tomorrow. I'm going to shoot 17 videos tomorrow. I ain't shot nothing today. I was just, I woke up at 1030 this morning. It was raining. And I knew it was something because I was sleeping too good. I finally got up, said I was going to get a haircut. That didn't happen. I'm just, a relaxing day. I'm not going to say a wasted day. But here I am with y'all right now. Also, if you're looking for the way, a way to contribute to the uh, channel, the super chats are activated. And the super chat is right down by the little emoji button. There's a little button with a dollar sign. It's up to you if you want to contribute and, and support the channel. Uh, I just like to mention it because it, you never know. Uh, I know when I, I used to hear people talk about super chats in their live streams. I went to a lot of live streams learning the information I know now that I can put out to you. And I didn't know what they were talking about. And then finally I saw somebody do it. And if I thought I was receiving some good information, I didn't do it every live stream. I'm be honest with you. I couldn't afford to do it every live stream. I was going to so many. But if I thought I got some value, valuable information, I would do a dollar $2.99. It's been times I've done $20. It just depends on the information I thought I was getting or if I wanted to support that YouTuber. So anyway, we got 15 people in the crib. I'm going to jump down in these comments. Again, do you think you have too many credit cards? Are you rolling with X amount of credit cards in your wallet or your purse or whatever the case may be? And you know you, you already know the answer. You don't really need a sign. You don't need a sign. Like me, I don't need a sign to say I have too many credit cards. I already know I have too many credit cards. The only sign that I could probably have as a problem out of everything I just went over, one of the things I can see happening is the annual fees. If I added them up, I guarantee you I would be downgrading cards left and right. Yeah, I haven't yet, but I can tell you if travel start to play around all of 2021 like it did 2020 i'm not going to probably touch my platinum card but i have like the bank of america premium rewards card there is yeah well i could get another cash rewards card that's a 95 dollar annual fee that i'm paying i usually don't worry about that card i'm gonna do a separate live stream on it because i get a hundred dollar travel credit so 95 dollar annual fee hundred dollar travel credit credit bank of america's paying me to have that card but if i'm not traveling uh, they're not paying me anything so i'm definitely looking at downgrading a couple of my cards with a plan, if there's no travel in 2021 with a plan to upgrade them back again in 2022. So I always believe in options and a plan. You always want to have options. Anyway, if I sound a little nasally, man, I had it freezing in here because it got a little warm. So I turned my heat all the way off and then I woke up. Hey, you listen, you got you listen in the house. He said in the house, he says, hello, PBT. And you're going to see acronyms in here. If this is your first time, you're going to see credit card acronyms. You're going to see PBT quite a bit. And that is points blank travel. I am back again. How are you doing tonight, sir? I am doing fine. And like I told you last night, you listen, if I'm doing a live stream, I'm doing well. Now, I will admit tonight, your boy could have stayed in the bed, man. I, I had my TV on, kind of watching some, I don't know, I wasn't watching anything. I had the TV on and, and laid down to take a brief nap, probably an hour and a half nap. And I woke up, the TV was off. I'm like, man, I know I had that TV on. So let me say this real quick. First and foremost, I got my lap last night. My laptop died, but tonight I have the laptop plugged up, but I did take a power surge earlier today. Look, it could get cloudy in my uh, subdivision. Next thing I know, the lights are going out. So if that happens, stick around because I will be back. But, hey, I'm doing great, sir. Glad to see you back in another live stream. 
Ulysses Hill said, oh, man, thank you, Ulysses. You, uh, I'm, I'm assuming because I've never seen it come up like this. It says, new member, welcome, Ulysses Hill. Ulysses, thank you so much for becoming a member. I really appreciate it. I know you are a member as well as I am on Dwayne How to Build Credit TV's channel. You know, and just because I see a person's a member over here, I don't sweat them about being a member on my channel. But it is an honor, sir. It is an honor to have you as a member. And I, I, I had said once we got to 10 uh, people, then I, I, I dumbed it down. I said once we get to seven people, I am going to be doing a members only live stream. And I can tell you it is going to be it's going to be the same as these. It's going to be informative. It's going to be entertaining. And I can, it's going to be a, a little more scaled down on, on more a personal, maybe about me or a topic that I haven't talked about to everybody yet. You guys will get the first uh, experience of them. And then I may do a public video about it or a public live stream on it. But I'm really looking forward to that. Ulysses, man, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I really appreciate you, sir. All right, we got Luis Pedrol. Luis, I missed you, man. I, you know, I was kind of jealous the other day. I saw you in Dwayne's live stream. I'm like, hold up, man. I haven't seen Luis in a minute, but I know everybody's busy here. You know, I couldn't get jealous. I'm in Dwayne's live stream, too, the dude putting out good information. He says, great juice on deck. No, man, I'm rocking the water tonight, bro. I mean, I, I got uh, some for real juice here, but no great juice on deck tonight. But uh, glad to see you, bro. Glad to have you back in another live stream, man. You know, I feel like I, 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 Luis has been coming to a lot of live streams ever since I started doing live streams. I feel like I know a lot of people in this in this community. So, man, it's just glad to have you here. Hey, I see we got new uh, new another new member, Miss Poulard. She schooled me last night on how to say her name, Miss Poulard. I'm making sure I'm not messing that up. Says new member, welcome, Miss Poulard. Man, Miss Poulard, it is so. When you have people, and and I was kind of reading some of the tutorials on the on the member channel channel memberships with uh, YouTube and when you have a person or people uh, uh, Ulysses Miss Poulard it's kind of cool that I have so few members I can name them all right now Dion Jefferson and uh, Maurice Miles when you have people that become a member that give me a warm and fuzzy feeling because I feel like I'm putting out valuable information and then I, what I'm not going to do, it's not wh what I don't want to do. What I'm not going to do is have these people that give me such a, a huge compliment and become a member and not continue to put out quali quality information here to everybody. But I'm really going to step it up a notch when I do my member only live streams. I'm not going to be more comedian than I am informative. I want to still balance it, but I'm going to step both up. I want to have more fun in the member only live streams and I want to have a tad bit more information <clears throat> or again it could be information that's going to be put out to members i might do something in a members only live stream and not do the actual video or the real live stream until a week two weeks later that's how i kind of want to format it i want it to be exclusive you're, you're going to feel special when you become a member of points plane travel i can guarantee you miss pular thank you again for being in the house a second night in a row even more importantly thank you for becoming a member of pbt i really appreciate it Hey, I got D Bernard in that crib. D, what's been going on? How are you doing, ma'am? How are you doing? Says, hello. Hello to you. Glad to see you in another live stream. Haven't seen you in the last couple of them, so it's good to have you back in the house. Uh, good to have everybody in the house. I think I woke up dehydrated, man. I'm over here drinking everything. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Hey, Joe Forth. Joe was in the live stream last night. He says, sorry, I'm late. Man, I'm going to tell y'all something. When y'all come to these live streams, I'm a firm believer, better late than never. Y'all don't ever have to apologize to me if you if you ran a few minutes behind. Sometimes I'm late to my own live streams. I made it a point tonight. I was sitting in this chair at 728, and it was something that I hadn't done. Oh, yeah, I wanted to make sure the mic was working and all this. And when I looked up, it was 731, and I was distraught. But Joe... Just, oh, when then I didn't even read the rest of it. Let me tell you something, Joe. You could definitely be late if you just got out of church because I think they take a little bit more precedence over your boy over here on YouTube, man. So, hey, glad to have you at another live stream, man. Again, if this is your first time here, do me a favor. Make sure you let me know what area you're representing. Let me know where you're coming from. And it is so good to see people day, week in and week out. You know, sometimes I do two live streams a week. I think the most I've done is three in one week. Uh, it's so good to see people that return back because you feel like you're doing something right, man. I don't spend a lot of time to see what I'm doing right. 
I do spend enough time to feel, make sure I'm not doing anything wrong, putting out bad information. But, oh, boy, that just made my day to have Joe back in here. He just left church, and he came into another live stream. Y'all bear with me here. I got to shoot up these comments. They are. Uh... Oh, wow, man. The memberships is popping off today. You know what? And I think I bear... Did I even mention memberships earlier? Man, this is beautiful. D. Bernard, new member. Welcome, D. Bernard. Man, ever since I was in Nigel Schroeder's live stream, and it was so funny, man. It was so good. He's another YouTuber. I haven't seen him in a minute. I haven't even seen Nigel do a video. I need to check on him. He usually pump out two videos a day, at least one. And I virtually, you guys will hear me say, I virtually met D. Bernard in, in uh, Nigel's live stream. And, man, she was wearing Nigel. I, I forgot what happened. I think he, it, it, I, it was something about sir and, and, and D is a ma'am. And, man, I, man, right then and there, I fell in love with Deep Bernard. I, I just like, like, wow, man, she is hilarious. She was wearing him out. But to see you as a new member here, when I virtually met you in an entirely different stream, Nigel was saying, hey, check out Points Blank Travel. This dude's doing this, his dude's doing that. And then to have you at my live stream, it is a true honor and a true blessing. I really i am glad to have you as a member. Thank you so much. Let me close my iPad down. So if you're making noise, I know I got my phone on vibrate. Then my iPad want to say something. Okay, Ulysses has a great question. What score do I need for you? Wait, hold up. What score I need for you? I need to check account with Ad American Express. Ulysses, you may have to go back and I, I'm, I'm going to try to. What score do I need to check account with Ad? Uh, like, I don't know if you're talking about the American Express personal uh, savings account. I don't think they have a checking account. Or I don't know if you're talking about an American Express. Um, um, credit card account. Most of the times for their regular cards, American Express Blue Cash Everyday card, American Express Everyday card, maybe even the Blue Cash Preferred and the, and the Everyday Preferred. I hear most people say 680. I wouldn't even attempt their premium cards unless I had a 700 credit score. And when I say premium, I'm talking about the green card, the gold card, the platinum card, the business gold, business platinum. Uh, when I applied for my first American Express card, I was over, I was like a 712. Uh, but I've heard a lot of people say that you can do it with a 680. Uh, I didn't want to personally, I didn't want to try with a 680, but I do think if you have a 680 credit score, but you have a lot of credit built up, sometimes bank or a 650, you have a 650 credit score, but you have credit cards with say three different banks. Your car is good. Your mortgage is good. But let's say you had this medical bill that you just couldn't handle, you couldn't tackle, you forgot about it, whatever the case may be. And that's the reason your score is a 650 instead of a 705 or a 720. Yet everything else is, is legit. Everything else is golden. Mortgage is good. If you don't have mortgage, your rent is good. Even though your rent's not going to typically pop up on your credit unless you don't pay it. Your car note is good. Your three credit cards been paid on time, but you're still a 650. A lot of times credit card issues will roll with that. So sometimes it's not necessarily just what your score is. It's, I, I tell people that, uh, and I work in an industry where we, we, we have to use credit to get approvals for stuff. And a lot of times people come, well, what, what kind of credit score do I need to do? It's not necessarily your score. I know people with 750 credit score that couldn't get approved because all they have was a $400, $500 credit card limit. And I know people with a 620 credit score that did get approved because they've proven over time that they can handle larger loans they just had a stumble, a road, couple of roadblocks along the way. Hopefully that answers your question, Ulysses. <laughs> Miss Dalton says you can always, Miss Dalton, have I seen you here before? I, I, I know I've seen you in, a, maybe you've been here before, I'm not sure. If you haven't, please let me know if you'll just say, hey, yeah, it's first time here. Because I really like to acknowledge people if this is your first time here. If this is your third time here, I apologize in advance. Miss Dalton brings up a great point. And I think I have seen this, Dalton, because that name just sounds so familiar. You can always reallocate some of your cards. It depends on the bank. And what would reallocate, Ms. Dalton, I want to make sure I'm understanding what you're saying. Are you talking about reallocate some of the credit limits on your cards? Or I, I want to make sure I understand when you say reallocate. Because when I, when I hear reallocate, I'm thinking about uh, if I apply for a card, and Chase turned me down. Let's say I have my uh, World of Higher card right now has an $18,000 limit. 
oh, my freedom unlimited has like a 20, dollars $20,000 limit, something like that. My self uh preferred is somewhere around the same. And let's say, and I had a Freedom Flex, I want to say it's like eight grand or nine grand or something like that. But let's say I wanted to apply for the Chase United card. And Chase said, nope, sorry, decline. And I called a reconsideration line and said, hey, why did y'all decline me? Uh, well, you just don't have enough credit limit available. I can say, hey, well, what if I take, on my World of Higher card, take $8,000 and move it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I knew it was coming. Excuse me, everyone. I want to take $8,000 of my $18,000 World of Higher card, which I've never used a, a, a hotel card for $18,000. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And I use that and move it over. And can I open the United Explorer card then? And they'll say, okay, well, yeah, let me make sure I understand this. Rod, you want to have $10,000 limit on your world? I have yes. And take the other $8,000 and make that uh, credit limit available for the United card? Yes. Okay, yeah, we can approve you in that matter because I'm still using the same overall credit limit of $18,000. I just used $8,000 of it to open another card. That's what I'm thinking about when I hear reallocate. And if I'm off target, Ms. Dalton, please let me know. Thank you so much for being in the live stream. I really appreciate everyone being here tonight. Man, am I in the right live stream? I mean, am I in my own live stream? Or am I in somebody else's live stream? Because this here is beautiful. Choc uh, I want to make sure I get this right. Choco Chocomoto, or if I say I'm saying it wrong, just spell it out. Chocomoto, or cho I'm going to say Chocomoto. Three, three. New member, welcome. Chocomoto, three, three. And I've seen this name before. I don't think I've seen it in my live stream. I, man, I'm going to have to start. I, matter of fact, I, I'm... Uh, kind of tedious like that. I'm going to make a spreadsheet. Uh, as a matter of fact, it's going to probably start tonight when I finish this live stream. And I'm going to have a spreadsheet of everybody that's ever been in my live stream. I don't care if you're a member, not a member. I don't care if you subscribe, not. I want a list of everybody that's ever been. And if I blow up and I start having uh, too many people, I guess I won't be able to keep up with it. But right now, I haven't blown up. I'm not exploding. So I guess I can't keep up with it because I want to start. I, most of the people I recognize, but I don't want it. I want all the people I recognize. So. Hey, uh, Chakamoto33, thank you so much for becoming a member. And I can tell you, man, we almost we almost there to a members-only live stream. I, maybe I should have kept it at 10, but no, because I'm ready to do a members-only live stream because I want to – there's a couple things I want to share with people, man. And I'm going to tell you right now, in the members-only live streams, it's going to be just like that. Members-only, it's a private party. If you want to come in and hear what we talk about, become a member. But – what is said there is going to stay there. That's all I'm going to say. It's going to be off the chain. That's all I can say. Oh, we got Tim Williams in the house. Hey, what's up, Tim, man? Tim, oh, man, Tim, great dude, man, great dude. Tim, I haven't seen you. Uh, <laughs> I'm looking at the rest of your comment. I'm going to get to it in a minute. Haven't seen you here. I think I saw you in Dwayne's on uh, Monday. And I always, you always hear me reference Dwayne because I go to Dwayne's uh, live stream. Because I like to hear differences, perspectives on, on credit and credit cards. And I'm also soaking up knowledge. I would never, I, I watch all of the same credit card YouTubers I watched before I even had a channel, before I even knew what I know now. Because it's always something new to learn. Tim says, I use credit cards like hot sauce. I use that bleep for everything. <laughs> hey, man, I'm the same. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm, I'm the same way, Tim. I use the only time I use a debit card. And, and uh, just to give y'all a quick story, I see we got 20 people in the crib, 14 people ring the doorbell, the doorbell is the like button. Make sure as you come into the crib, you ring the doorbell and that is hitting that like button. If you want to wait and make sure you're getting something out of this before you hit the like button, that's cool too. But before you leave the crib, make sure, I, I'm not like your average person. I don't care if you ring my doorbell as you're walking out the house. I don't care, man. Make sure you hit that like button. No, seriously. Um, I went to the, I, I have a, a check in the money market and a savings account with Ally. So I went, only time I use a debit card is when I'm going to the ATM to withdraw money. And that's rare. It's rare that I do that. Especially Ally, because that's one of my emergency accounts, but I needed to move some money. Oh, man, I forgot when it was. It may have been, I don't know what day it was. Last Wednesday, I can't remember. You want to talk about frustrated. I hadn't used my debit card in so long, I thought I had forgot the pin, but I, my pin is pretty close. I may have a couple different variants of my pins. But they're pretty close. I know what they are. 
So I'm looking at my notes. I'm like, no, nah, man, I know this is working. They kept spitting it out. So I, I got frustrated. I uh, got on the phone right there at the ATM and I called Ally. And then by now somebody wanted to use it, so I had to step away. It had been so long since I used a debit card that I forgot how to use the debit card. I was using a money market account. And I'm thinking, money market savings. And the guy was like, no, that's actually a checking account. OK, well, why can't I use my checking debit card? Well, or you're trying to access money out of your savings. I said, yeah, that makes sense too. I said, man, I'm sorry. I'm just, I don't even use these things, man. And I just don't use my debit cards. But hey, I'm like you, Tim. I'm the same way, brother. Hey, I see we got another channel member in the house, platinum channel member at that. Uh, good to be in the house tonight. Hey, Dion, it's always good to have you here, man. It's always good. I, I see you here. I see you in the Facebook uh, group, the Points Blank Travel Facebook group. Uh, speaking of which, if you want to become a member of the Points Blank Travel, if you're on Facebook, I put actually a lot more information out there, not me doing videos. I have done some videos where I only did it to the members of, only for the members of, I used to do it a lot, I don't do it as much now. Only for the members of the Points Blank Travel Facebook group. It's not YouTube videos, it's a separate video that never leave that group, it never is posted on YouTube. Uh, but Dion's there and he, he is very, very, very active there. And Dion can attest to that. I put a lot of articles excuse me, that I never talk about. I never even talk about this. I haven't talked about it yet, or I may not ever talk about it on Points Money Travel, but it's it's credit credit card travel information. I put articles there. Someday it may be one article. Next day it may be five articles. Just whatever I deem as important or, or something that people can learn from. And then I do have other people that contribute articles and their opinions. And it's, it's pretty cool, man. I actually enjoy it. But good seeing you here. And... For the people that join as members tonight in the next live stream, I will be able to acknowledge, hey, I have uh, Miss Poulard in here, a channel member. I have uh, D. Bernard in here, a channel member. I have uh, Chakamoto33 in here, another channel member. I'll be able to acknowledge you. I mean, it's going to tell me right now, but in the future, you always, from now on, will be acknowledged as a channel member. And you're going to get the little badge by your name. Your name's going to be a different color on the software that I'm using to do live streams. I can't see that. But if I was to log into my iPad here, I could see it if I was on a regular. What I'm seeing on my screen doesn't look like YouTube. It, it, it doesn't even look like I'm on YouTube right now. It's totally different. One day I'm going to do And for the channel, for the members only, I think I'm going to do that one day. I'm going to show y'all behind the scenes of everything. In the, in the studios, I have like what I call Studio A, Studio B, Studio C. This is Studio A, which is the main studio. Studio B is my backyard. I mean, you know, your boy just had to make up some stuff. The sound report. And Studio C is when I do it in my family room where I had a picture of my mom, my dad, my little brother and I, and then my daughter and my grandson. So uh, it's, it's, it's different studios, but then I want to do behind the scenes where I can show you uh, uh, what my screen looked like when I'm doing a, a live stream because there's nothing like you would imagine. It's stuff everywhere it's stuff right now y'all can't see it but as i look on my computer it's probably about 50 different uh what do you call those little thing icons but it's a way that i can go in here where you can't see it because right now what i'm looking at is my laptop and when i share my screen even though i'm sharing my screen y'all won't see that but hey that's future stuff we got 21 in the people 21 in the people 21 people in the crib 18 people rang the doorbell. I really appreciate it. Louise says, hey, bro, did you hear about that new Apple Car promotion? They're giving you $50 when you spend $50 at Exxon Mobile. No, I didn't, but this is the kind of info that I won't put out in the live streams. No, I didn't hear about that one, Louise, and I'm so glad that you're here to tell everybody about that. The downside that it's only valid for people who apply from January 8th to January 31st. Well, if you just recently applied for the Apple Card, uh, And you spend fifty dollars at Exxon Mobil. Go fill up your tank. Go fill up your cousin's tank. Fill up your cousin's cousin's tank. You'll get fifty dollars back. And I want to thank Luis for putting out that information. And that's why I like to do these live streams. This is the kind of stuff that I'll see every once in a while in the Facebook group. But hey, Luis, man, everybody here, as you get information, you hear about stuff. It's so much going on out there. I can't. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I can't keep up with it all. So when I read stuff like this and it's something that I didn't know or didn't hear about, I love it. Because I feel like I've been educated, and I want to thank Luis for uh, educating the educator. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to wake up now, man. I don't know if y'all noticed, if y'all been here before, my normal energy. I'm normally hyped. Like yesterday, I had work nine hours. I was more wired up yesterday than I was today, and I ain't did nothing today. I've just been sitting here laying in the bed and kind of messing around, working on some behind-the-scenes stuff. So Luis says, I got my Apple card on December 22nd. Laugh out loud. I was pretty disappointed since I didn't qualify for the offer. Hey, but man... 
Think about this, uh, Luis, because I always believe in looking at the glass as half full instead of half empty. Think about this, my brother. At least you have the Apple card. Think about those that applied and didn't get it. Your glass is still half full. You missed this offer, but you, you, at least you have the card. And I'm just trying to make a good situation out of a disappointing situation, and that's what I'm here for. And you probably sit there and say, right, I don't want to hear that mess, man, because <laughs> that's what I would be saying. <laughs> oh, man. Hey, Luis, it's good to have you here, man. I always have fun when you're here because I know you got the great juice on deck. Hey, Chase King is in the crib. Chase King says, what's good, my people? Chase King did a super chat last night that, that uh, man, I when I got off the phone, man, I, I had to make a call. And I, I should have been calling Chase King. But it was kind of late, and I was like, man, you know, I received this super chat last night that, 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 that touched my heart. It, 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 I've actually been thinking about it all day, and I, I was torn, and I got kind of sidetracked today. I didn't even go get a haircut, so I let you know I was totally off. Uh, I uh, was going to reach out to Chase Kenning and thank him. I said, man, I really don't have to do that because the dude, know our, our, he already knew I appreciate that. He, and I didn't want to get all mushy and stuff, but, man, Chase King, hey, if you want to learn about Chase credit cards, actually, you want to learn about credit cards in general. He prefers Chase, but the dude know about all of them. I'm not going to say reach out to Chase King. Somebody hit me up, and I forgot who it was. Uh, one of my other subscribers, I remember, but I'm not going to put them out there. But one of my other subscribers was like, hey, how can I reach out to Chase King and uh, K-College? I'm like, hey, man, I have their information, but I can't give it out. You know, you got to catch Kate, Chase King in the, in the live stream and ask him for his information yourself, your, his phone number, his email. And, and I, think, I think they linked up, but... Hey, glad to have you here, my brother. Uh, Ulysses said, just don't play no music. Ulysses, uh, I don't know if you're talking to somebody else in the chat. Maybe it's about the Apple. I don't know. Uh, oh, I got you. I, are you. I don't know if you're talking about just don't play any music in the live stream. Because uh, if that's what you're talking about, I know K College and I did a collaboration a couple months ago. We've done two of them. Uh, K College is a, is a business credit guru. Uh, we did a collaboration. The first one, it was uh, Justin Vakula from the Hurdy Gurdy Travel Pro, uh, Podcast. K Bob, best of the best from K College and myself. We, it was three of us. We did a collaboration. It was cool. The second we did, one we did was off the chain, and it managed to stay on YouTube maybe 12 hours. <laughs> and they pulled it down because... Uh, we had well, we didn't have anything. K College had music playing, and it was. And maybe, maybe that's what you're talking about, uh, Ulysses. Miss Poulard says you're welcome. Me saying thank you is, is is not enough gratitude, and I'm gonna show you my gratitude for you becoming a member, Miss Poulard. I'm gonna show everybody my gratitude for becoming a member because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be fire. It's gonna be as the younger people say, it's gonna be lit. <laughs> I can guarantee you that it's gonna be lit. All right. Uh, Chakamoto33 says, Evening, sir. I just joined as a platinum member. That's what I'm talking about, man. He skipped. Okay, he or she. I don't know yet. I always say he. I never really know. Skip the silver and gold was straight to platinum. And just so you know, the platinum membership is $9.99, but that's where you'll get exclusive access to me uh, via social media. Uh, and so, so my wife and I enjoy your channel and we love the information. Okay, that just I need to read all the comments that I answer my own dang on questions <laughs> instead of going through all that. But hey, it's a it's an honor when you hear. And I have a couple of different couples that watch me. Uh, speaking of which, I need to talk about them in a second. Uh, it, it's an honor when you feel like you're informative or you're you're there for one person. But when you hear Someone say, me and my wife, or me and my husband, or me and my daughter, or me and my son, or me and my boyfriend or girlfriend. When you know you're affecting two people, you're, you're, you're addressing one person, but you're affecting two, man, you know, it, it, it obviously it doubles the emotional feeling that you have inside. When I get off these live streams or I do a video, it's been days, even when I finish a live stream, I, I'll go out and almost just scream like Ric Flair, woo, you know, I just be so overfilled with joy because I felt like I've helped somebody. Now, and if I do a video and I don't feel like it's helping anybody, it, it won't get published. You'll never see it. I'll see it. I'll look at it. I'll delete it. I'll redo it. I don't do it. So when I see that, that is, is a true, true, true great feeling. Speaking of couples, make sure you guys, and, and I haven't seen them in here. I know I had a comment on the video I did two days ago. Your favorite couple, your favorite couple. I'm going to put it down here. Let me type it in real quick. When I do this, I'm going to have to go and find my spot back in the comments. 
I promised them that I would pay it back and, and, and really put their channel out there because they um, have really been supportive of my channel. They're close to hitting a thousand subscribers and they talk about, they, they do vlogs and, and they go around and travel around. They, they, they're from the Dallas Fort Worth area as well. Um, but their, their channel is pretty, pretty good. It's not talking about credit. I, he's done a couple credit cards. Uh, Shelton, the husband has, um, so let me slide back down here. Y'all got to bear with me because I had to go back and find my comments. And just so y'all know, if we go a little longer tonight, the only thing I have to worry about, I don't even have to worry about that. The camera has a two-hour battery life, but I have another backup battery, and I do have my laptop plugged in tonight, so and I'm sitting at 100%. Again, there's so much stuff going on that y'all don't see right here that I, I don't even look at <laughs> half this stuff. All right, so... Ms. Pular says, so my son has Navy Federal Credit Union. Congratulations. That's a very good institution to be with. Hopefully, I'll have an account with them soon. And yes, you are eligible to become a member. For those of you that don't know, as long as you are affiliated with the military, if you're, if you're your child, your aunt, your sister, your siblings, your grandparents, anybody was in the military, you can join Navy Federal. Uh, I had Navy Federal for almost 20 years, and we had some beef. They pissed me off, and uh, I'm going to give you all another gem right now. I'm going to give you a tidbit for the 17 people that are in the house. Your boy got emotional. I told him to close every account I ever had, close the checking accounts. I never had any credit cards with him. Close all my checking, close my savings account, take all my money out of there, and mail me a check to my house. Biggest mistake I ever made in my life. Biggest mistake I ever made. And I did this. I talked about this in a How to Increase Your Credit Score, one of the videos in that series um, that's under my playlist. Don't get emotional. If it, it's just like having an argument at, at, at your house, you know, if you if you have an argument with your sibling or your spouse or your child, walk outside, cool off. If you have to walk around the block, if you have to go out there and do some push-ups or some 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 squats, some sit up, take a deep breath and then reassess the situation. I didn't do any of that. I I, I acted on the spot. Okay, neighbor federal, y'all want to piss me off about this? Here, close everything I got. And I thought I was doing something. And I was. I was shooting myself in the foot. That's exactly what I was doing. But I thought I was doing something to hurt them. Dude, I'm one member out of millions of members that they had. And I hear them, I thought I was hurting them. No, it ain't like I had $800 million in the bank. <laughs> I'd be lucky if I had 800 in the bank at the time. It was, this happened a while, a couple of years, uh, 10 plus years ago. So anyway, hey, we got Neo in the building. Neo says, hi, hey, what's up, Neo? Glad to have you in the house. I missed you in the live stream last night. I, uh, did see your post in the Facebook group about the Wyndham uh, rewards card. Great post. Thank you for sharing that information with everybody. And it was so ironic because I had just did a uh, video on the Wyndham, uh, Wyndham rewards earner plus card. So that was that was cool. Hey, I see we got Alicia May on the house says, hey, dear, just stopping by to say hello. You're off to a great start for the awesome year with your live stream, 7.30 p.m. <laughs> awesome. Hey, it's good to have uh, Alicia in the house, and I talked about it last night. A lot of times I bounce ideas off Alicia. Uh, I tell her about some of the upcoming stuff, I'm, and, and she could care less, to be honest. Half the time she could care less about YouTube or anything I'm about to talk about, but she sit there and she listen, and that mean a lot to me. Uh, and, and, and she's low, low giving me this right hook, this uppercut saying, hey, I'm off to a good start for the year with your live stream, 7.30 p.m. Awesome, because... I was all over the place, and I would uh, say, I'm going to do a live stream at 7, but then I would schedule it for 7.30. I would say I'm going to do a live, 30, uh, live stream at 7.15, and I'd do it at 7.45. So I made a commitment last night and said it's going to be 7.30. It's not going to be between, I, I got to the point, I got so comfortable. Hey, I'm going to do a live stream between 7 and 8. You know, that, that no, man, I, I, I want people to know exactly when to expect me so for every wednesday every wednesday the live streams will be at 7 30 p.m central standard time like i said last night if it's 7 35 7 36 and you don't see me there but you've seen it scheduled bear with me i'm just probably doing some last minute sound checks some light checks uh or or making sure i, I got all this stuff pulled all over the place so just bear with me but hey we got 20 people in the crib hey thank you so much alicia for noticing that i, I stuck to it and it was on time Okay, Miss Dalton says my second time here. Okay, so I have seen uh, the name before. Miss Dalton, what area are you represent? You don't have to say the city. I don't want nobody to come looking for you. you just said a state. Uh, your boy is trying to go global. I do have a couple of viewers from the UK, but I am want to make sure I encompass the entire U.S. You know, I want people up in North Dakota, South Dakota, Connecticut, New Hampshire. You know, I want 
I'm already going to have people from Cali, not like I thought I would, but I do see a, 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 per, a West Coast man, a person in here that I'm about to get out to shortly. I saw it when I was scrolling through the comments, and that is my inaugural. Uh, and I, he will always be known as that. So instead of just being announced as a winner, he'll be, will, I mean, a, a member, a winner. <laughs> he will be announced as the inaugural PBT channel member. And, and he, I'm going to be getting to him shortly. I just saw a while ago. Neo says, at work, just here a couple of minutes to say hello. Hey, man, thank you for coming in here. Thank you for jumping in here. If you're at work, that really mean a lot because they let me know you're uh, showing the channel love. And even though you're at work, because I know it's a lot of times I watch uh, other YouTubers uh, uh, live streams. I watch their videos while I'm at work. If I'm taking a break, I'd be sitting at my desk and I'd be watching them, you know. So I know I can definitely relate. Hey, we got another YouTuber in the crib, D. Anderson. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho. New member. Welcome, D. Anderson. I'm going to tell you, I always say it like this because I don't want no one to make any mistakes when they go check him out. D. is a YouTuber. He was a YouTuber way before I became a YouTuber. Check out his channel, D. Period Anderson. Uh, He's on YouTube, man. Inspiration. He's talking about credit. He's talking about cars. He's talking about chargers. He's talking about credit cards. He does motivational things that has to do with none of the four I just named. He, he a matter of fact, speaking of, of being at work and watching a YouTuber, uh, I, it was a couple days ago. I don't know if it was Monday or Saturday, because I, I don't work on Sundays. I work on Saturdays. But D was testing a live stream, and he was out. I don't, I'm assuming that was a late D. Maybe it was an ocean, but it was just his body of water. And it was so relaxing. And, and you know, he was doing his thing. wasn't really tired. He was just testing out the live stream. Man, I was on break 15 minutes, 10, well, about 10 minutes, just sitting there watching D in the water on his live stream. So I love it because it's short videos. It's to the point. It's so motivational. But, D, I want to thank you for becoming a channel member, man. Thank you so much. And it's great to have another YouTuber in the house. And again, D period space Anderson. Definitely check him out. Uh, matter of fact, D, I got to get my practice on. Wagwan, man. <laughs> hey, D will tell me, uh, he, he, I think I've, think I've only got two, maybe three uh, D's Jamaican. And, 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 and I've been trying to get learn a couple words. I'm up to three. And I don't even think I got those three right yet. So uh, I love it, man. I love it. I love it. Okay, Ms. Dalton says, you can merge some of your cards. NFCU allows it. Yes, okay, exactly. So it's kind of kind of what I was talking about. Okay. Thanks for that information, Ms. Dalton. I really appreciate it. Oh, there he is. D, he threw it out. Wagwan Brethren. Okay, and I hope I'm getting that right. Wagwan Brethren. I know it's Brethren because I hear him and Dwayne. Dwayne's Jamaican too. I hear how they see it. Uh, thumbs up. Peace and blessings to all in the chat. Respect. Respect to you, bro. You and I have nothing but respect, man. I know 2021 is off to a good start with you. You got that new J-O-B. I see your IG. See some of your posts on YouTube. You rocking the fresh suits. You rocking the fresh fade, the fresh cut, the shades. I was like, man, D, I had to kick it. Your boy, I'm over here looking like, looking like, I don't know. I'm like, I just went to the baseball game or something. I had a hoodie on, but I'm, I'm hot in my own house. I don't even know how I let that happen, but. Woo, we got 24 people in the crib, 21 people ringing the doorbell. As you come in, make sure you hit that like button. If you didn't do it on the way in, when you get rid of the road, make sure you just hit it. All right, let's see what we got here. Uh-oh, I'm, I'm, I'm excited for the next one. That's what I'm talking about. We got John T. in the crib, and this is a John T.'s first time here. I've seen him on several live streams. I've seen him in comments and in, in videos. Greetings from Iowa, and that's what I'm talking about, man. I was kind of like in the, in, the, in the mountain time zone, if I'm not correct. If I remember my uh, geography, and I'm being funny, y'all, my geography. I trust me, I'm more educated than that. Uh, <laughs> so that's what I'm talking about, man. I want to hit areas. I, I what's, what's the capital? Des, Des Moines or something like that? Is the capital of Iowa? Hey, man. Hey, John T., glad to have you here. And I kind of, you know, I know where some of you are. I know where a few of you are from. And, and just to know that you're, you're reaching out all over the country, and uh, Wayne, Wayne M. from the UK, when I see him in here, I'm there reaching out all over the world. Hey, we got another YouTuber in the crib. Work to live, not live to work. What's up, Rod? What's up, Felicia? I'm late, but in the house and rung the doorbell. Yes, ma'am. Hey, better late than never. There's no such thing as being late. Glad to have you here. I was wondering where you're here. I know a lot of, sometimes 
I'll be honest, I can't do it. I just can't do it. A lot of times, YouTubers, uh, I want to speak for me and a, I know, I, I don't think Cakeology can do it. I know Dango will. I can't do it. I don't think D can do it. We can do it if we had to, but we, we go into another YouTuber's live stream. We want to let them know we're supporting them. Now, Dwayne from How to Build Credit TV, he could be in your live stream for two days. You would never know it because he just chill. He laid back like that. And he don't want to take the spotlight away from you. But I was wondering where you're here. I go to Felicia's live stream. I'm like, hey, just showing some love or, or I'm in the house or whatever the case may be. Uh, Felicia does have a YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. She's talking about uh, couponing over 3,000, almost 35, maybe over 3,500 subscribers. Great information. If you want to save some money, it doesn't stop at credit cards. It doesn't stop at points, miles, and cash back. Definitely check out her channel. I will tell you, it. I'm thinking about grabbing me some coupons. You know, I never thought about it because I always thought that was too time consuming. But now, I, I have time. I definitely, I was, I was, Wanted to be a baller when I was younger, but I didn't want to take the time to make the paper. Now I have nothing but time. Ulysses says, I am one of them. Okay. Uh, Ulysses, uh, one of what? I'm sure it was something that I said earlier, but I, I, what I would recommend is just say I'm one of them and then dot, 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 and then kind of ref, refer back to what you were talking about. Because by the time I get to your comment, we all have probably forgot... Uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me, man. I told you I should have never turned my heat off. All right, y'all excuse me here. <coughs> it's usually a third, so let me make sure, because I don't want to start back talking. Oh, man, okay. Ooh, boy. Joe Ford says, I just got the PayPal MasterCard because of your blog. Okay, yeah, that's right. Joe is a member of uh, my Facebook group. And uh, it's not my favorite car because of eBay. And, and Joe, hey, check it out. I am, I've already drafted the content. I'm going to more do a more detailed video, which you don't really need it. You probably can be in the video with me and tell me about the car. But right after I posted that in that blog, uh, I drafted the content for the PayPal car. But other stuff started taking precedence, other cards or other business news or, or, or credit card news that I did videos on or the live streams. So, hey, I'm glad to know that I had an influence uh, Whoa, Lord have mercy, man. I'm about to fall out the chair. I just saw something on my screen. Y'all bear with me. Bear with me, man. Sometimes your boy have a... Oh, man. You know, I get all these little notifications, but I got to I gotta start learning this notification because this notification is very important. I get a lot of them, and I get so worried whether it's saying, hey, your 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 internet streaming is low, or but it, and, and it's the same kind of little notification, but it was a little different. But hey, uh, Joe, just getting back to you, it's good to know that... Uh, the blog, the information that you read on the Points Money Travel Facebook group influenced you and was enough and some good information where you got the car and you're now saying it's your favorite car. Now, I would be very bothered if you would have said I got the car and I can't stand this car. So, hey, congratulations, man. I'm glad to hear that. It's stuff like that I, I really love to hear. Hey, whoever just rang the doorbell, I really appreciate you, man. Thumbs up flying all over my screen. I love it. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Maurice Miles will forever be known in my world as the inaugural Points Blank Travel Channel member. He is the first person that signed up for membership. He signed up for the platinum level. You know, I really don't care if you sign up for platinum, gold, or silver. It's all love and all support. But I was so overjoyed when I got my first member. And when I saw that it was Maurice, man, Every time I see him in here, that's how he will be addressed from now on. And I'm going to acknowledge all the members. And I'm going to have love for the people that aren't members. But he will always be acknowledged as the inaugural channel member. What's up, Rod and Credit Family? Blessings to all. Ring the doorbell and grab me a plate. That's what I'm talking about. In case you don't know what he's talking about with grabbing a plate. No, I'm not serving ribs over here. I'm serving up knowledge, baby. The question is, are you going to grab a plate and uh, come to the... I'm bringing knowledge to the table, should I say. Are you going to grab a plate and eat? And that's what Maurice, every time he come in here, I've noticed ever since I started that in, at Slogan in 2021, he always said, hey, I grabbed me a plate. And he's not just here. Maurice is in some of the same live streams that I'm in, continuously soaking up that knowledge. Matter of fact, to tell you how special Maurice is, even before I developed memberships, Maurice, uh, Maurice has my personal phone number. He didn't have to become a platinum member. He, and I mean, I'm like messing myself up here, but he already got my phone number. He can call or text me anytime he wants, 
and he don't abuse that. He don't call. He'll would, he would text me, in, in, I don't know, every couple of weeks or whatever, and I return the text, you know, and it's just good to have people like that surrounding you, man. It is. Hey, uh, that's uh, where I was talking about, uh, I forgot, man, Shelton and his wife, your favorite couple. Definitely check them out on uh, on YouTube. Please check them out. Uh, they're pretty good. Hey, D. Bernard, man. D, I'm glad you noticed. Thank you so much. Yes, it is a new logo. Uh, D, I don't know. I, I, sometimes I get bored, especially late at night. I created this logo a while back, and it's actually on some uh, merchandise, too. But this is the PBT Live logo. So when you see me do a live stream, you will see that logo in the live. And it may one day become the entire PBT logo. I don't know. But when you see that logo, the one down here that's at the bottom of the, of the screen here, I don't even know if y'all can see me circling around it. Uh, and then I still have the, the bullseye, which is points blank. It's point blank, but I put an S on it for spin on words because I'm talking about points and miles. And then you'll see the other globe on the other end. Those two are actually the points blank travel logo. This is the points blank travel live logo. So, yes, it is a new logo. And thank you so much for noticing. I really appreciate it, man. I really, I really do. Hey, we got Jonathan Factor in the house. Glad to see you back in another live stream. Representing that East Coast, representing South Orange, New Jersey. Glad to have you here, sir. It's always a pleasure to see you. And, you know, it's funny, as I get to see, like, uh, Miss Dalton, I, I won't forget. I won't forget that she was here. I, I, like Miss uh, Poulard, who was here last night for the first time and out here today, I won't forget. Uh, Chakamoto33, uh, three, three, who became a new member, I won't forget. And I'm going to take it a step further, make sure I don't forget, because I'm a great male spreadsheet. But then when you start seeing people uh, time and time again, you're, you're so appreciative that they taking time out of their day. Just like everyone in here right now, I got 19 people in the crib, 23 people ringing the doorbell. I'm so uh, blessed that people are taking time out of their busy day to come spend time with me on Points Blank Travel and try to soak up some knowledge. Well, uh, we've been on here an hour and seven minutes. I'm not going to go two hours tonight. I can tell you all that right now. Uh... Deepin R says, what about automatic payments? Set them up. A lot of people do. I don't do that, Deepin R. I don't because my strategy is a little bit different. I don't pay. I, I could pay. Um, and I was talking to a rep from American Express uh, recently when I got my. Uh, Oh, I did something with it. Oh, yeah, I had to get a new Blue Business Plus card because I couldn't find another one. It's in my house somewhere, but I couldn't find it. So I called and told them I needed a new one. And she said, oh, you're a good customer. And you have good payment history. Why? Because I pay my cards typically when they post. As soon as the charge post, I don't really have to wait to the payment uh, statement closing date. I really don't have to wait to the due date. If I buy $30 worth of gas today, Nine times out of ten, it won't post tomorrow, but by the day after it posts, I'll pay that $30 off. And I do that across the board with the majority of not every card. If it's a huge purchase, then obviously I'm not balling out of control like that. But if it's something that's manageable, if I go to the Kroger today and I spend $53 on items and it posts tomorrow, the next day, as soon as it posts, I'm making a payment. So with it like that, it's kind of hard for me to set up automatic payments. Great idea. Great idea for a lot of people. Automatic payments will keep you out of trouble because you know it is automatically being paid and it's being paid on time. But it, the way I do it, it, it it's kind of different than the average person. All right. Miss Dalton says she represents Seattle. There we go, baby. We, we, we reaching that West Coast. All right. We got Seattle in the building. Hey, I feel like I'm in Seattle with all this rain today. It's supposed to rain from now oh, until Sunday in the DFW uh, or in Dallas-Fort Worth on uh, the Metroplex. So, uh, hey, glad to have you here from Seattle, Miss Dalton. Glad to have everybody here, man. D. Bernard representing D.C. How is it over there today, uh, D? I know it was kind of tied down today, locked down over there. D. Anderson says, thumbs up all across the screen. I love it, D, man. As always, brother, glad to have you in the building. And I don't know, maybe you was giving me thumbs up for me saying walk on. Uh, I don't know if I pass the, the test and I can get two more words. <laughs> hey, D. Anderson says, got to keep it moist, bro. Laugh out loud, man. I hear you, player. I hear you, bro. I hear you. 
I hear you, man. I'm, it's always good to see you, D. You know that. Oh, uh, man. Jose Pena in the building, man. That West Coast, West Coast representing that. I got Seattle. I got Maurice from uh, Arizona, Phoenix. I mean, that's close enough to the West Coast. And then I got Jose Pena in the build. Said, what's up, PBT? Points Money Travel Cali in the house with the R at the end of it. Jose, I'm always happy to see you, man. And it's so, uh, Paulo, Luis, and Jose all kind of became familiar with Points Brain Travel when I started going live. And man, it's so, it's, it's good to see everybody, but it's certain people you see that just, you know, you, you haven't seen them in a couple of hours. When you see them, you're just like, yeah, man, oh, it's just good to have you here. Uh, Oh, okay. I see you corrected it. You know I was going to clown it. <laughs> you know I was going to say something about it. I knew what you meant, so it didn't matter. Miss Pular says, time is money. Yes, ma'am, time is money, and money is time. I'm telling you right now, it, you know, today I was kind of uh, bothered with myself because I felt like I wasted it a day. Uh, and, but I was like, oh, no, you really didn't because I wanted to shoot at least one video today. I, I still can when I finish this. But I said, I really wanted to shoot too. And I have a video that's, that's I'm mentally, I'm already ready to do it. Because a lot of times, I, if you notice, when I'm doing a video, I'm not just sitting there reading. I, 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 it's, it's, it's locked in. It's locked in up here. So that takes preparation. It takes time and all of that. And I felt like today I could have been shooting a video. And I was like, you know what, Rod? Maybe you just needed to rest. Then I came up with this pipe dream. Hey, I'm going to lay in the bed and just watch the inauguration. I haven't even seen the inauguration. I, by the time I got up, the inauguration was probably halfway over. But... Ms. Poulard is absolutely right. Time is money. Oh, okay. Ulysses says no on the Apple card. I'm thinking he's going back to the music thing, the comment that he made earlier. And this is what almost knocked me out of my chair earlier. I saw this, but I didn't want to uh, say anything until I got down to the comment. Jose Pena, man, I haven't seen you in a while, and I tell you, you came back blasting, bro. You came back with a bang. Jose, thank you so much for that hundred dollar super chat. Says God bless, bro. God bless you, Jose, and your entire family, man. Thank you so much. You know, I don't care what the dollar amount is. Just when people take their hard earned money and support the channel, <sighs> dude, I can't say enough, man. I, thank you. I saw it shot across my screen earlier, and that's why I said, "Oh, I'm about to pass out." Cause, man, you know. You know, I got my spectacles here. I got in case you guys are young and don't know what I'm talking about. I have my glasses here, but when I put them on with a hat, it'll mess with the camera. And the camera does have a sensor where to keep the light going because it's, it's constantly following my face. Matter of fact, I just lost it. It may get dark. Yep, there it goes because I put the glasses up there. So here, let me. There we go. Don't think I'm going crazy. Well, okay, now if you notice how it brightened back up. So, uh, I couldn't see what the zeros were, but I knew it was a couple of them. I was like, man, hey, I really appreciate it, Jose. Thank you so much, man. Again, God bless you and your family too, sir. Thank you for being here, man. You know, it, it just, it just, it, it, it warms my heart when you see some of the same people in here time and time again. Take a side of 72 said, got the $100,000 offer from Amex, so I pulled a trigger. Hey, you talking about on that platinum? Uh, take a side of, glad to see you. I saw you over in, uh, I think he was here last night. I know I saw you in Dwayne's live stream. Uh, did you pull it? You say you pulled a trigger. Was it on that platinum card? Because, man, that's a heck of an offer. Man, congratulations, bro. Good job. Good job. Chase Kid says, drink some hot tea, Rod. Yeah, I know, man. I need to drink something because everything I got over here is cold. But I need to drink some hot some, uh, Chase King. But it'll actually be okay. Usually, if I wake up congested I, I i already took some cold medicine as soon as i woke up like man if it is a cold i'm gonna be ready if it's not a cold i guess i took some extra i don't know but i probably will grab some hot tea chase king says jose p you're a good man yes sir hey, man i'm telling you chase king you know good recognizes good and everybody in here man everybody in here y'all don't know the, the appreciation that i have for y'all is astronomical it it it, it is beyond words for anybody, and I know D, uh, D Anderson can attest to this, Felicia can attest to this, doing a live stream back-to-back -back two days, even doing a video back-to-back -back two days, it's a lot of work. So the reason I did the 
video yesterday, the live stream yesterday, because I missed everybody. And I just want to be on here chit-chatting and communicating with people. The reason I'm here today is because I enjoy it and this is my scheduled time. But I could easily say, look, I don't feel like doing it, man. I'll come on Thursday or Friday and just say, hey, I didn't feel like it. something came up, whatever. I can make up something. No, I'm so appreciative of everybody that's here that I enjoy doing the live streams. And it, 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 for anybody that's a YouTuber, they'll tell you it's time consuming. Obviously, I've been here an hour and 15 minutes, but the preparation for it, the checks you do, uh, 45 minutes before you start, or hour, 45 minutes, hour before you start. The Like today, I got up, I had to edit the beginning of yesterday's live stream because I didn't like it. Uh, then I had to go through and put the ads in the live stream from yesterday, this morning. It's, it's constant work, nonstop. So it, it is, it's, it's a lot, but I am so appreciative of you guys. I don't mind doing it. Uh, man, Jose Pena, you and Chase something else, man. I appreciate y'all, man. That means a lot. Uh, Jose says, Chase, I agree with you. He deserved this and more. Man, I tell y'all, y'all, y'all are, are too kind. You know, you guys being here and people joining the memberships tonight, all the new members that joined, the Super Chats, the Super Chats last night, uh, Belinda that became a member last night. I feel like I'm getting what I deserve. It's just people showing love back. You know, I, I do this for the fun. I do this for not just totally the fun. I do it because a lot of the stuff I learned and the hard knocks I learned along the way, my parents didn't know this type of stuff. So my brother and I self-taught a lot of this. Or we learn from other mentors. We learn from other people. We learn from older mentors we learn from peers we even learned my brother's three years younger than i am and i learned something from him almost yeah, every week every other week uh maybe not that frequently but uh and it was funny his childhood best friend was actually in my live stream last night he's also in texas but a different area of the state uh so really to have to be able to help people on I mean, you had to learn the hard way you learn from the states you learn from having a 500 credit squad no d anderson has made it publicly known he was in the 400s he's rocking a high 700 right now i'm rocking a high 700 on some instances an 800 credit score so if i can give out information of what i've learned and to make sure people don't have to go through what i went through I, i'm cool man i'm cool and, and whatever people support people want to uh give along the way i really appreciate it and Jose added to that and said for all the hard way, yeah, it, it, is, it is some work, Jose, but I tell you what, it is, it is beyond beneficial when you uh, see the love and support coming from people. Demon R says DC is beautiful. Okay, cool, cool, cool. That let me know everything's good. Demon R says new president, new car, life is good. <laughs> I hear you, man. Yep, new president. Uh, you got a new ride. What'd you get? I'm, 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 it don't matter. It don't matter. You got a new car. It don't matter. Life is good. You got new everything going on over there. We got Mr. Chocolatazo in the house says, check it in familiar. Hey, familiar. I'm learning a little Spanish. Learning a little, I think it's Patois. I'm, I'm trying to diversify myself here. Hey, it's good to have Mr. Chocolatazo in the building. Another person that's a wealth of knowledge, you know, you have people that aren't aren't on YouTube on YouTube yet. They may or may not realize, like, I guess I'm cons considered an influencer from some of my, my, my nephews and stuff. Tell me, hey, you're an influencer. OK, <laughs> all right, cool. <laughs> uh, but you have influencers that don't necessarily have YouTube channels. And I think of Chase King and I think of Mr. Chocolatazo and. I made a pitch last night in the live stream last night. I said, man, I'm hopefully every live stream I do, Mr. Chocolatazo's in there. The, the, these two men have their own lives or Chase King's in there because they bring, they not only do they bring knowledge, but they bring good vibes to the table. Just like when I see uh, not just YouTubers, but when I see D. Anderson and, and, and Felicia from Work to Live, Not Live to Work in the House, or, or Nigel or K -K, they, just, they, they just bring such good vibes to the table. And then when I read the comments for like D. Bernard, Miss Pular waited X amount of comments while I go and said, you're welcome because I thanks for, this, for the uh, joining the membership. Or D. Bernard said, hey, DC is beautiful. 
new prayers, new car, life is good. That's just positive vibes, and that's what I'm all about, man. So, boy, I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. Hey, I got a, a, a long-time subscriber in the house. Hopefully, it didn't take me too long to get down to his comment. Hopefully, he's still in the building. Daryl Shamel. What's up, Rob? What's up, Daryl? Glad to have you in here, man. It was days, and he didn't notice, and I'll go ahead and say it, so I hope he is in here. It was days where I, early on, I felt like not quitting YouTube, but I felt like giving up on trying to hit the 1,000 subscribers. Like, okay, man, it's just going to happen when it happened. And Daryl would come in on my videos and always, hey, good stuff, PB, good stuff. I, I virtually met Daryl on Cakeologies uh, in his live streams when the current situation first started. Uh, and and Daryl is Daryl is well versed in credit, business credit, personal credit, all credit. Yet he still, and he even put it in one of my comments in one of my videos. Even though I'm well versed in in, in all types of credit, I still come on here and I check out Cakeology. I check out you, and maybe other people. But so it is always great to see Daryl in the crib. Man, you talking about a wealth of knowledge? He's not a YouTuber. But yet another person in the stream with a wealth of knowledge. And just because you have a wealth of knowledge, you don't have to have a YouTube channel. Hey, Daryl, man, thank you so much for that super chat. Five dollars. I really appreciate it, man. Uh, and I kind of said last night what I want to do with the, the 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 super chats and the memberships. I do want to try to, I ain't, I ain't no try. I'm going to pull it off somehow. I don't know when. A formal, some type of meet and greet where maybe people can get together uh, I'm not sure. That's a lot of planning left, but man, so I really appreciate that. Super Chat, Daryl, thank you so much, sir. Thank you for all the support you've given uh, Points Blank Travel. Y'all bear with me. I'm having that. Oh, man, I did a little too much. I'm trying to move this. If y'all knew what I had to do to go through the comments, to scroll up and down, y'all would cry laughing. Oh, man, I just hit the wrong button there. Hold on. Okay, Mr. Chocolate Hazel said, Rod, doing a giveaway soon. Yeah, that is in the works. Yes, I do need to do a giveaway, and I need to come up with how I'm going to do it, man. I don't know if it's going to be – it's it's not going to be members. It's going to be – it's probably going to be based on subscribers, but it's kind of hard to find out everybody to subscribe because if you're if you're like me, I just found this out. When I subscribe to somebody else's channel, and the sad part is I forgot how I found out about it, so I don't know how to go back and change it. But I was searching for something on YouTube. And when you sign up, you're automatically set to private. Now, if you want your subscriptions to be set to public, I've had about 30 people subscribe to the channel in the last couple of days, and I haven't got a notification for any of them because their, their subscriptions are set to private. That means when they subscribe to your channel, you don't know that they subscribe unless they let you know that they subscribe, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do some kind of giveaway. I may, It's going to probably have to be something where everybody's involved, whether you subscribe or not. Uh. Oh, big baller. Oh, oh, I hear you. Five Series X Drive. I hear you, Deep Bernard. Woo, you balling, girl. I mean, I ain't being funny either. You for real. You, you know, I didn't even want to ask because I was like, hey, a new car is a new car is a new car. I don't even care what she got. She got a new ride. That's why I said, never mind. It don't even matter. Then you come out here, bam, and slap me upside the head with the Five Series. I hear you. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, it's all, man, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, appreciate you, Daryl. Cup of coffee on me, bro, man. Appreciate you, Daryl, man. Thanks again, seriously, bro, for all the knowledge, man, and the, the, the support you gave me. And again, it was days where I said, I'm not going to quit because I'm not a quitter, but I'm not going to rush to get there because I felt overwhelmed. I felt like, man, but then it was it was comments from, from not just Daryl, D. Anderson, and D was doing a lot of stuff, man. D. Anderson was doing a lot of stuff. And even... Uh, work to live, like live to work. We bounce a lot of YouTube ideas off each other. Uh, it, it was just so many people supporting. So, man, hey, thank you so much, bro, for for, for being there for a brother. You didn't even know it. Demon R said, love that idea. I will help you plan your meet and greet. Okay, cool, cool. Because I, I, I really don't know how to plan one. Uh, Yeah, man. Hey, hey, okay. Don't write no check. You can't cash, Demon R, because I'm going to call you out on that one. Because I am not a planner when it comes to that. I can plan a good barbecue. I just know we're going to have some ribs, some hot links, and some chicken. Beyond that, 
your boy is messed up. <laughs> so, uh, Paulo, hey there, is Paulo. What's up, Paulo? Man, I don't either, Paulo. Man, do me a favor, man. I don't, I don't either. And I posted this early today. Early, I posted this because I know I was gonna stick to seven thirty. Paulo, and I, hey, I mentioned you earlier, though, Paulo. I was talking about you and uh, Jose and uh, Tay Casada, and it was somebody else. I, I can't remember. When I first started going live, you guys have been supporting me ever since I've been going. And that's kind of when y'all found the channel. Uh, great juice on deck. Let's roll, baby. Yes, sir. I don't understand why I don't get notifications anymore. Uh, I, hey, Paulo, I don't know if you're on Facebook. I would recommend either one or two ways you could do it. You could either like my Facebook page, which I have a Facebook page, and I have a Facebook Points Money Travel private VIP group. I've yet to not approve anyone. I would highly recommend you 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 either follow the page or join or, or request to join the Facebook group, which I'm going to approve you as soon as I get the notification, just like that. Now, I don't. I'm, let me rephrase it. I don't have notifications for Facebook. So as soon as I go to Facebook and see that I had that little bell thing, I'll click it. And then I say, okay, six, seven, five people need to be approved. I'll go through there and approve them. Because I'll post that I'm going to do a live stream before or right around the time I post it on YouTube, usually right after I post it on YouTube. So if you don't get a notification from YouTube, it'll definitely pop up on your Facebook. That's the best recommendation I have to anyone that's thinking about um, uh, not getting notifications because I'm not getting notifications either. That's the best way I can figure it out. Uh, or you become a... Uh... uh I don't know. I don't want to say that. I'm going to say because I got to find a way to do it on uh, for members where I can find a separate way to make sure they don't. Uh... <laughs> yeah, look. So, hey, glad to have you here, Apollo, man. But that, seriously, I would uh, look at the Points Blank Travel Facebook page or Facebook group. Request to join the group or just like or follow the page. And then I post. That's, they're almost mirror images of each other. I, a lot of stuff I do in the V by V. Like if I do a video just for the Facebook group, I, it won't be on my Facebook page. It'll just be for the Facebook group. So I would definitely do that. That way you'll you'll be notified. And that's why I was laughing. D Bernard says I cash big checks, Rod. Hey man, can, hey, can you can you cash and, and, and sprinkle a little bit? By the way, I'm like, uh, who's that? E for to sprinkle me, man. Sprinkle me, baby. <laughs> oh boy, I love this community. I love y'all. Y'all crack me the heck up, man. And then D had to follow it up with a laugh. I like, yeah, you, you even know that's funny. Not that it's funny that you cash big checks. I just like how you said it. You know, hey, I cash big checks, Rod. I ain't over here, you know, penny pinching, chump change, Charlie. I'm over here cashing big checks, doing big things. Ooh, man, I tell y'all, man, I'm serious. When I say I love the group of people that come into the live streams, I am being serious. You know, I, 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 another, uh, not the other day, it was a couple live streams ago. It wasn't yesterday. Maybe the one before that one. I, I said, I didn't understand what Michael Jackson used. You know, people like, oh, we love you, Michael. And Michael was like, I love you too. You know, I didn't understand. I had a fool love people who don't even know. <laughs> you know, now I understand. That's all I can say. Now I understand. There's people that like, you don't know, you haven't met, but you feel like you know them. And I, I totally understand. You know, and I'm so comfortable where, and I was looking at an old video when I was putting some ads in them the other day, and I was like, man, I wear a hat now. My, my hair kind of crazy. And I talked about cutting it last night. And Alicia, uh, kind of like my advisor, said, no, don't, you don't need to cut your hair. And I'm like, oh, come on, man. Yeah, you're probably right. But I don't know. It's, it, it may be coming. Hey, man, I'm at the end of the comments. See, right now is the time. If you have any questions or comments, now is the time to put them down there. I just said we got another comment. I'm going to let them build up a little bit. Uh let me look at my guy. Okay, I've been on here an hour and 29 minutes, so we still got time left on the battery cam the camera battery. 100 percent on the, the laptop. We're doing good. Uh let me jump down here in this comment. Mr. Andrew 2800 glad to see you when you uh glad to see you back in another live stream. And a great question, man. That's good. That'll give me something to talk about. Which card gets the most attention when you use it? Uh, 
Lately, not really. None of them because we're not really, at least I'm not, handing my cards to many people. But before the current situation happened and I was, I would probably say uh, my American Express gold card because it's, it's, it's metal. It's, it's, and it's, it's rose gold, so it looked kind of pinkish rose gold. Uh, my platinum... American Express Platinum, but I don't really use it that much in public. It's more for benefits. But I'd have to say probably my my black card. And not the American Express black card. Not the one Jay-Z and Oprah and all them got. Not that one. The 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 luxury card from MasterCard. It's a Barclays card. And it's it's I wanna say 24, 25, 27 grams. It's heavy. And it's loud. If I drop it, it's it's like I'm dropping a fork or something. It's loud. And then the marketing is so great right across the front, it says black card. So everybody in the world, including your boy, when he got bamboozled, thought it was the black card. I thought it was the black card. And the black card is from American Express. They don't even say black card. It's just a black American Express card. That get a lot of attention, but I don't really, I, I didn't use it at all. In, I, no, I take it back. I used it once in 2020, maybe twice, because I used it in a six-month period, make sure I have that activity going. Uh, but I would say my MX... And believe it or not, I don't. Yeah, I do have my wallet on me, but I don't have that card in my wallet. The 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 see through cards from Amex, the the blue cash every day, the everyday preferred, and the blue business preferred. Now blue business plus they they are they're see through. You can you can look right through there. It's clear plastic. They get a lot of attention, even though they're not baller cards or anything. They get a lot of attention because they're they're see through cards. But I'd have to say my gold card get quite a bit. Uh, Mr. Andrew 2800. Hey, glad to see you again, too. Paulo says, I'm excited, though, Rod. Come this March, I'm out of 524. In case you don't know what, know what that means, Chase does have a rule. If you get approved for five cards in a 24-month period, they will not approve you the majority of the time, regardless of your cr uh, credit score. I'm ready for that Flex Unlimited CSR, which is the Chase Sapphire Reserve and Hyatt, baby. I can't wait. I'm almost as excited as much as when my daughter was born. Laugh out loud. Just kidding, yeah, man. Don't let your lady hear that, boy. She was like, wait a minute. You was just as excited about some credit cards than when you was your daughter being born. And man, hey, but I feel you, bro. Uh, and 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 I don't have the, the my Sapphire Preferred or my uh or my hire card in my wallet this month. They're in my car. I, I keep, I shouldn't say this in case somebody want to rob me, but I don't care. I keep most of the cards I don't have in my wallet in my car just in case I want to use them. Or, or if I'm in an area and I get an offer and I'm not carrying that card. But you can see right at the top of my wallet, I got the Freedom Flex and the Freedom Unlimited both at the top of the wallet right there. So, and I remember when I was in your shoes waiting to get under 524. And I can tell you, I mean, they're side by side, like two two missiles, baby. And I usually put my cards in order of how I plan on using them. So if you're at the top of the wallet, you're going to use the most. And if you're down here, you're probably not going to get used as much. But uh, what I'm rolling with, the Discover card, three MX cards, my American Airlines card, my U.S. Bank card. You know, I wish this card was metal. I love it. Oh, bear with me, man. My nose. I love this card because it, it isn't. I'm gonna see if I can pull it. Well, I guess I can pull it all the way out, but I don't wanna. I love this card because it has the initials RT and it's a Discover card. And it looked like a baller card, but it's no annual fee and I got a $2,000 limit, but it looked like it's a baller card. I absolutely positively love it. And if you got a Discover card, they have so many options. You can go through and get the same kind of card. I didn't do nothing. I'm not special. They just had that. I looked up, stumbled across it, and bam, here I am. I'm going to have to take Chase King advice and give me some hot tea here in a minute. Or put my hoodie back on. I don't know. Well, I'll tell you what, everybody, man. It's been a pleasure in being here with everyone. We still got 21 people in the crib, 26 people right in the doorbell. I am going to hop off here in a minute. I'm going to give you all a couple minutes if you have any more questions. 22 people. Every time I say I'm going to hop off, it never fails. Somebody come in the crib. Whoever just came in, hopefully you rang the doorbell and... Next day I know your boy still talking. Uh, I may take her intermission and just keep rolling, but I think 
<laughs> Ulysses says, what is RT? RT is my initials, Ulysses. I, I just gave somebody trying to kill me. I ain't going to say my last name, but the R is for Rod and the T is my last name. It's, it's just my initials, man. It, uh, it, I was trying to find a way to put PBT on there, but I couldn't because they go by your name, your actual name. And I don't have to cover anything up. So, yeah, it's just RT is a Discover card, and RT is my initials. It's the same number as my other uh, Discover card, which is just a normal Discover It card. But they give yeah, I can have as many cards as I want, different variations. It'll be the same account number. And I tend to use this one more because I like the RT on it than I do the uh, actual Discover card. So, and just to look in here. Uh, yeah, Jose. Uh, and... Oh, man. And that was, uh, whoever asked me which card, <coughs> man, got the most attention. And that is the, that's the rose gold American Express card. And actually, just to give y'all an idea, and I'm not here showing off cards. I'm just answering the questions to everybody. So don't nobody over there think I'm flossing because I'm not. That's the regular gold card, as you can see. I'm trying to make sure the light is regular. It's just gold. And that's the business goal. And then my, I, I kept, I did it on purpose like that. And then the, the personal goal is Rose goal. So when I have both of them, I can look at my wallet. I know the difference between the two. Because I carry both of them typically every month. All right. Now we got all that mess out the way. Let me look, jump back down in these comments. Uh. Man, hold up, man. My comment shot down the screen. Let me jump back up here real quick. Jose P. said, RT, is that your initials? Laugh out loud. Yeah. Yes, it is. <laughs> hey, Wesley Mesley, the coolest name on YouTube, baby. I love it. Wesley Mesley in the crib. What's up, Rod? I have got three new credit cards since September, so I'll be in the garden for a while. In case you don't know, the garden means he's not going to apply for any cards for a while. I don't know who came over to term the garden, but uh, I'm probably going to be in the garden. I'm doing this video. I don't know if I'll shoot it. Well, I, I'm going to work late tomorrow, so I may shoot it tonight. I don't know where my, my nose is running. I may not. Uh, but I'm probably going to be in the garden for most of 2021. I just... It's, Unless they come out with something tremendously great, I'm not going to apply for any more credit cards. I'm, and a matter of fact, the topic of this, how do you know you have signs that you may have too many credit cards when you get to the point where you don't want to apply for anymore and you know you can get approved? That's another sign. I didn't mention that sign. <laughs> but Ulysses says, I got you. Yes, sir. Yep, it's my initials, bro. Just my initials. If you were a member of my uh, Facebook group, underneath every post, I put I put RT, I put my initials. That way people will know that I put it there and it's not an imposter. Shouldn't say that because now I can have an imposter. Jose says, knew it. Ulysses says, L, whatever that is. Demon R says, have a good night, get some rest, stop pushing it. Yes, you're absolutely right. End the stream, you did good, get well, yeah. I'm gonna take your advice. Uh, D.I.M. going to be jumping off here shortly. Uh, and I'm, you say, get well, I'm not, it's just, I woke up because it, I didn't have my heat on and then it got cold because it was raining. So it kind of like a draft was in the house. It's just a matter of uh, stop talking shit up and, and like you say, get some rest. Alicia says you need to drink some hot tea with honey and lemon, take some meds and get some rest. Two people in a row and told me to get some rest. That's what your boy need to do. Yeah, I took some meds actually right before I started started this. All right. Hey, Jose is like my my uh, studio producer, my stage producer. He says 96 minutes. Hey, get the charge. Hey, the charge is already ready, but I am about to jump off here um, because the uh, next day I know the battery will be getting low on the camera. 
Hey man, again, I had fun with everybody. Let me make sure I got through all of these. Uh, so Alicia says you need to drink some hot tea with uh, honey and lemon. Take some meds, get some rest. Ninety-six minutes from Jose. Ulysses says, "See you on your next live." Bye for now. Hey, thank you, Ulysses. Appreciate you for being a part of the PBT family and always been in the live stream supporting. Much love and respect, brother. Okay, Miss Poulard says some. Fexofenadine. I ain't never even heard of that, Ms. Poulard. What is that? I, I mean, obviously it's med medication, but it may do you some good. I think what I need to do, uh, and it was raining the day. It was wet. I was kind of outside. I was in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out. And then didn't turn my heat on, came here and laid down in a draft. So I think it's just a matter of just chilling out. I'll, uh, I'll be good, though. Yeah, it may do me some good. Mr. Andrew 2800 says, hope you feel better. Uh, rubber Tussin and, and, and Spray Lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I man, I really, to be honest, y'all, I don't even feel bad. I just got the sniffles. I feel, hold up. I'm, I'm, I'm superstitious, man. Let me knock on all the wood. I feel cool. But, uh, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to drag, you know, go too deep into that. Oh, oh, honey, lemon, and whiskey. Okay. I don't have any whiskey. I don't even know if I have any honey or lemon. I, I think I'm striking out all the way around. I am going to have to look into that. D. Bernard says, laugh out loud, last all. Yes, yes, yes. Jose P. says, all right, good night, PBT and PBT family. Yes, sir, good night. Okay, Allegra D. Miss Pular says, Allegra D. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to have to go and see if I got that. I'll probably take another uh, cold and cough medicine before I go to bed. Hey, I tell you what, it has been a pleasure. we got 20 people still in the crib. It has been a pleasure chilling out with y'all tonight. We have been going an hour and 41 minutes. Uh, if you haven't already done so, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. If this is your first time here, check out a couple of videos. Subscribe to the channel. Get a video a thumbs up. If you didn't ring the doorbell on the way in by hitting that like button, make sure you ring it on the way out. Share the channel. Share Points Blank Travel with your family and friends. As always, as always, shoot for the moon. If you don't make it, you're going to be amongst the stars. I want to thank all the new members that join. I am going to be doing a spreadsheet so I can make sure I don't miss any single member when I'm doing future live streams. Uh, for all, for the, the people that gave super chats, for Daryl and Jose, much love, much respect. Uh, for I, The only reason I can't say all the new members is because I can't remember. I miss Poulard, D. Bernard, uh, Chakamoto 33. If I left anybody out, I'm sorry, man. But you best believe you will be shouted out on every live stream that you attend from this day going forward. Maurice Miles, thank you for being here. Dion, thank you as another channel member, man. And we're going to go ahead and end this thing. Stay tuned for some more videos. I'll be coming at you soon, dropping even more knowledge. And who knows, man? Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Or you may want to check out the Facebook group, Points Blank Travel, or the Facebook page. Follow me on Facebook, Points Blank Travel. You'll receive notifications because you never know when I might drop a new video. Or I may just come on live. If I'm feeling froggy, I might decide to jump. But I'm going to go ahead and get out of here for the night. It's been a great evening, everyone. Hope you have a blessed and prosperous week. I'll be coming at you soon, dropping even more knowledge. And until then, peace.